Greetings, vault dwellers and lone wanderers. We're here today with another quick video about EMB for Fallout 4, this time taking a look at the GUI, the graphical user interface in game. This interface has a few neat features that I never knew about even as a longtime EMB user. So I'll go ahead and open up the interface with Shift Enter. And the first thing I notice if I'm playing with keyboard and mouse is that I can't even access the interface. My mouse cursor is trapped in this area in the center of the screen, and that is done by the game to prevent you from accidentally moving your cursor off the screen during gameplay. To make the ENB menu accessible, all you have to do is something in the game that would normally bring up the mouse cursor. So one way to do this is to bring up your Pip-Boy, as I'm doing here. Unfortunately, this blocks your entire view of the background, which can be a nuisance when you're configuring ENB. Another way to do this is to bring up the console by hitting the tilde key, which is in the top left corner of the keyboard to the left of the one key on most keyboards. And this allows you to retain a better view of the background while you're configuring the menu. However, with the console open, unfortunately, the scene is frozen in place. Another quick note that I mentioned in a previous video is the fact that the TM command to toggle menus in the game for Fallout 4 actually affects the ENB interface. This is not true for the Skyrim and the Fallout New Vegas versions of ENB, but this happens to be the case for the Fallout 4 version of ENB. Now, the final way to access the menu is to plug in a gamepad. And this is the method I use. I actually play with a gamepad, and this offers the greatest amount of freedom because it offers an unobstructed view of the game world and you're free to move around as you see fit. The game is not frozen in place. So here you can see I'm moving the camera with the gamepad, and I can move the cursor separately with the mouse. Okay, so what are these GUI features I wanted to talk about? First of all, the interface windows can be resized by dragging from the bottom right corner, or from any corner, actually. So here we go, we can reduce the size. So if I wanted to make a small box that just looks at my draw call count, I can do that and set that up and, let's say, tuck it away in the right corner, and just have that available. And because I'm playing with the gamepad, I can freely move around or easily go back to configuring the ENB menu. In addition to being able to move and resize these windows, there are a couple of other features that appear when you hover your mouse over the header bar. Clicking this icon resizes the windows. It toggles between three different sizes. There's another button at the very top left here. I'm not sure if it does anything. It may electrocute a lab rat somewhere in Nevada each time you click it. One other feature we have here is the down arrow to the top right area of the header bar. Clicking this will make the menu disappear. And we can do that with our secondary menu as well. And lo and behold, they're gone. But wait, how do I get my menus back? Where are they? Aha! Let's take a look in the bottom left here and you'll see that the menus have just been minimized. So we have three icons. One for the ENB Series Any menu, one for the ENB Local menu. Clicking the question mark brings up a not very useful help and shortcuts menu. So this offers some information about Roto Slider, which I believe is the middleware used to create this menu. Unfortunately, the text insists on hiding itself after one or two seconds, no matter what. Anyway, that's about it for today. So I'm gonna set up my little draw calls window in the corner here and be about my way. As always, thanks for joining me, and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and updates about EMB for Fallout 4.